Back here on 2IT Sports, around the footballing world. So this is our next part of the clips with the True Jordi, who's joining us here. And in this clip, very straightforward, very simple. All the teams around Europe that we would expect to have made a good start have started it, I would say, pick up form. We see Chelsea grabbing a win this week. I'm not saying they're fully back, but we see Manchester City slipping a little bit, but still a very impressive start in terms of the Premier League. But we want to ask our good friend, the True Jordi, from the start, which team do you think around Europe at the moment, has made the best start in terms of Champions League campaign, football campaign, just all outright playing, I would say, from the start of all, all the campaigns. Well, mate, I'm going to stick with the Premier League and I'm going to say Manchester City. I know they lost the game, but when you consider how competitive the Premier League is and how much they've swept the side teams with ease, and even then when they lost the game, they were so close to getting the draw in that match. They've given themselves a great platform to work on for the rest of the season. They've left Chelsea in the dust. And even though Man United are going to be on the heels, Chelsea are the team they want to get as far away from as possible. And they've done that. They hammered them 3-0. They made them look average. And in every game they've, they've played, they've outplayed the team that they were playing against. So I've been really impressed with them. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I know a lot of, I would say, there's a lot of sharks in the media that would sense a little bit of blood after their loss against West Ham, who I think West Ham have made a phenomenal start as well. And I think that with their performances against the big teams, you cannot just suddenly jump on top of Man City and say that, oh, now it's same old City because they lost against a very resilient Juventus team and then they lose against West Ham. I think that, they are so impressive considering the way they played last season. They looked toothless last season at some points. And you were like, where is the talent they have? Where is the, the heart that they should show? But how rejuvenated they are, I think that that's definitely a safe bet to go with Manchester City this season because they have still played very well. The football that they've played, the way that David Silva has been playing alone has been a, a spectacle to behold. But for me, I'm going to go across to, I would say, a, a country where I've been considered to be from. Everyone says I look like Andrea Schuller. Uh, I think that he's not as good looking as me, but if he wants to put on a, a waistcoat and a, a tie, maybe he'll be up there. But I'm going to go across to Germany, and I'm going to say that from what I've seen from Bayern Munich, frighteningly good. OK, they're not top of the Bundesliga at the moment because I have to give credit to Borussia Dortmund. They have made a phenomenal start as well. Considering last season, they were shocking at the start. People were touting Borussia Dortmund for relegation, and then they strung those victories together. But for me, Bayern Munich have showed what it means to encompass the best players possible in their transfer window into their team. Arturo Vidal at the weekend scored an absolute phenomenal goal. But the camaraderie of this team and the depth, for me, they're going to be so hard to beat. And I think in the Champions League as well, seeing their performance, how comfortable they were, they've signed players that like Vidal, who is a great signing, but Douglas Costa, he looks phenomenal. I'm talking about, he, he's got a part to play in nearly every goal that they've had this season, through all day. I swear to God, watching them against uh, at the start of the season, how much Thomas Muller has been on form. A lot of it he owes to Douglas Costa because he's beating players one-on-one -on -one so easy, so fast, so strong. And his delivery is what I think last season Bayern Munich liked because Robin was out, Ribery was out, and they, need, they didn't have any answer to wide areas. They didn't have anyone who could go out there and perform to the same ability as those guys. And we've seen how evident that was against the teams like Barcelona. So I think that Pep Guardiola has done a good job of strengthening the positions that they had to. Schweinsteiger leaving, of course, left... Uh, I would say, a gap for a leader, not just a gap in the starting eleven because he was injured, of course, but a gap for a leader in there. Bringing in Vidal is a great signing, and then bringing in Costa to perhaps play whenever Robin and Ribery aren't exactly carrying the team. I think Bayern Munich, for me, are going to be the best team to have, the team that's had the best start to the European campaign. I'm looking forward to seeing them in the Champions League this season because, you know, they've bottled it in the semis two years running, but to be fair to them, they did actually beat... Barcelona at the end of last season, if memory serves correctly. And now, you know, they, you like you say, they were missing an extra creator. Mola was starved of service. Lewandowski wasn't getting enough going forward either. And now to bring in players like Douglas Costa and also Vidal, who was an out-and-out -out winner. He's an absolute machine. He's probably one of my favourite players in the world, to be honest. I, I like how he's just, by any means, we're going to win this game. And players like that are what they're going to need to finally get that Champions League title back. And it's surprising we both went with teams that kind of just performed, that are performing so well within their retrospective leagues. Um, but we never really touched on La Liga. And I think that kind of shows, one thing I have to say is that I'm really impressed with Real Madrid, not only demolishing teams the way that they have done with Ronaldo banging an abundance of goals, but Granada, who they should have swept like easily, they still scrape out a 1-0 win. And I think that's what's going to be crucial this season in La Liga. Many people were like, oh, Barcelona only winning 1-0, only winning 1-0 or 2-1. They're not the same Barcelona. 
bullshit. That doesn't matter at this point in the season. We remember how good a start Real Madrid had last year. They beat Barcelona in the first La Liga, uh, first uh, El Clasico, sorry. That didn't mean nothing when it came down to the final points of the season. I think that Barcelona are still playing well. They just aren't, the goals just didn't, didn't seem to be flowing until this weekend where they go and smash Levante 4 1, and all of a sudden everyone's like, Barcelona was back. I don't think they have ever left, but I think there is a case there that Barcelona and Real Madrid, despite not, I would say, being as outstanding as you would expect them to be, but, uh, as the players that they have, have still made a pretty good start to the season. Barcelona have got 100% wreck in La Liga. Definitely a case to be made for them being a great one of the competitors to be the best team that's made a great start. But because of that lack of goals, do you think that's why people are not kind of touting them as the same Barcelona as last season? I think maybe it's because their defence looked a bit suspect at the start of the season as well. They were conceding a few too many. And people were like, how many? You know what I mean? It was a bit surprising yeah. at the time. But, you know, they seem to have steadied that now. They're getting back to normal. Messi's still missing penalties, but he's still the best player in the world <laughs> uh, for me. Um, and as for Real Madrid... Uh, one player I'm really happy that seems to be expressing himself through the middle a little bit more in opening teams up is Gareth Bale. Yep. Uh, I really like that kid. You know, he's flying the flag for the Premier League, in my opinion, in La Liga. Uh, and he seems to be getting back to his best after, some would say, a poor season last season. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually full from eating all my words because I did say at the start of this season that Gareth Bale, to one commentator I interacted with him, I was like, Gareth Bale won't play through in the middle that much. And I, I, I've just... Eight my words for that. Eight my words about Martial. Pretty full up from my words this season. So <laughs> I think that uh, Gareth Bale has made a great start to the season. Let's hope that uh, with injuries aside, he might be able to continue in his form. And I'm really excited about how the La Liga will push forward. I think both Madrid, Barcelona and Atletico Madrid, who made another 2-0 victory at the weekend over Ibar, are definitely a team who everyone needs to look out for. But we want to know what you guys think. In the comment section below, what is your perspective on the teams that we mentioned there to have a good start? We can't forget Celtic, a great win there at the weekend. 6-0 of a very hard opponent there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what about... Let's, let's be fair, though. There's also some unsung heroes who probably, you know, for, for the quality they have in the team, uh, maybe it's Leicester, you know, some other teams Absolutely. that people could say. Leicester, West Ham, all in for a good shout, I think, yep. this season. And that's what makes the Premier League, for me, still the best league in the world because of that competitiveness when you can get a team like West Ham upsetting a team like Man City who are in a great run of form at the moment but as I said comment section below follow the true Jordi on his Twitter handle it will be in the comment section below and of course it will be at his YouTube channel youtube.com slash the true Jordi and the true Jordi gaming make sure to check them out as we said we'll bring on more guests weekend as soon as we get our Skype system up and running we'll have a full round table of people from Chelsea people from full time devils people from Football Republic and of course, the True Jordi will be our consistent host every week. We're so happy to have him on. Thanks for coming on and joining us. Ryan, make sure to come back and subscribe.